Good morning. Today is Wednesday, October 12th. This is episode 22. You've got Don the Idea Guy from DonTheIdeaGuy.com. And here's what's running through my mind today. Today I want to talk about your default position. I work with a lot of people over the years and far too many of them default to the position of no. If you ask them a question frequently before you can even get the final words out of your mouth, the answer is no. The really, the really unique individuals, the exceptional ones always kind of defaulted to yes, or at least what if we said yes. So today I encourage you to rethink your default position. I know that a a popular opinion now in books and blogs and business articles is that uh, leaders say no to more things than the average person. And I don't necessarily think that's true. I think that the successful people say yes to more important things, to a higher number of important things than they say no to. I think that they weigh their decisions and say no to the things that do not move them closer to their goals. So many people read that as you just say no to things. Now, a lot of the people I dealt with, I don't think they read these, uh, of these books or articles that I'm referring to, I just, I think that many of them were just negative people who like to say no, more in an effort to cover their own behinds. Uh, I don't think that anybody's been fired from a job for saying no because it keeps their neck tucked in like a turtle and they don't stick their neck out by saying yes because it's liable to get lopped off. So it's easier to say no because it's unfamiliar. It's a request they haven't heard before. There is a risk. Uh, There is an unknown factor. So it's easier to say no than say yes. I think the successful people ask, what if? It's not that they say yes. It's not that they say no. But they say, what if I say yes to this opportunity? What's the best that can happen? What's the worst that can happen? And then they have to ask, what if I say no? What's the best that can happen? And what's the worst that can happen? And if the best thing that can happen from you saying no is, I don't get fired today, is that really the best reason for saying no? What opportunities are you saying no to? What could have happened? What's the best possible outcome from saying yes? What's the worst possible outcome from saying no? And weigh those two things against each other before you decide whether you're going to say yes or no. Don't pick a default position. Don't pick a default yes. Don't pick a default no. Give yourself a pause to consider pros and cons. Now, I think you should still make a decision. I think worse than a yes and worse than a no is a maybe or let me think about it. Take a pause and consider, but then make a decision. Don't leave people hanging in limbo or it's going to hang over your head and you're going to keep coming back to it as a point of stress because you didn't make a decision on this choice that you you had to make. That's all for today. I'm just going to encourage you not to say no by reflex. Consider a yes. Say yes to an opportunity that takes you closer to your goals, that moves your business further ahead, that just feels more adventurous. Maybe it's yes to something you've never done before. But think about saying yes more than no. But at the very least, ask, what if? That's all for me today. Uh, I would encourage you to check out a, uh, a book called Yes Man by an author named Danny Wallace. Now, this book was turned into a terrible movie starring Jim Carrey. I do not recommend that movie. It in 
in so many ways does not resemble the book, uh, other than the fact he said yes to stuff. But Danny Walls basically wrote a book that um, that related a challenge he gave to himself for, over the course of several months that he, he would say yes to anything somebody asked him. And yeah, it's gimmicky. You could see that as being a Jim Carrey movie, but it was an interesting experiment. And I would challenge you to try saying yes for a day. Try saying yes for a week and see what new opportunities it brings your way. I think you'll enjoy the book before you decide whether you're going to default to yes, at least read the book and then see the things from the good and the bad that happened to Danny Wallace in this story and decide whether you want to open yourself up to some of those same opportunities he had as well. Think about it this way. If he never said yes to saying yes, he never would have been able to say yes to a movie deal. And that's a new opportunity. That's all. If you want more from me, you can visit me at dontheideaguy.com. I'll be back again tomorrow for our Thursday episode of the only podcast broadcast from a parking lot running through my mind.